Okay. <coughs> okay. So welcome to lesson one. Lesson one, uh, I split it into two lessons. Uh. So first lesson is like really about like fundamentals of uh, digital marketing, like everything you need to know. Yeah. Then lesson two will go into like advanced uh, strategy and tactics. Uh. Stuff like only like random people on the internet will, will, will know this shit. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Okay. Okay, let's one. Welcome to Facebook Fundamentals. <laughs> okay, next. Uh, like all the information that I tell you, right? I don't do it for fun, uh. So um, it's like real information. It's like I've learned this, this skill set, and uh, I spend my own money, and I spend real clients' money. So I'm not bullshitting you, uh, Just to tell you, uh, Okay. So um, yeah. If uh any information that I tell you, right? I won't tell you useless shit. So like uh everything in the slide is is something that you can uh take notes on, uh. Yeah, so if you want to take out your pen and paper, that's now's a good time. Yeah. By the way, my on my left side, right, I can't really hear you properly. I don't know why. You are a bit really? like soft. Uh do you want to restart the call again? Uh never mind. I, I think it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Can. Okay. By the way, you don't mind uh, I'm like stopping you and asking questions or you want me to wait until you finish the call? Okay, so I, I will go slide by slide. At the end of each slide, if you have questions that you ask. Okay, okay. And then uh, any question that you don't, that you have, and then I say, okay, we uh, stay for later, right? Then you just write it down first. Right, right. Okay. okay. So anything right. that I'll show you in Ads Manager, right, is usually out at the end. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Can. Okay, next. Uh, chapter breakdown. So first one, I'll talk about landscape. Uh, then second, I'll talk about pixel, ROI, and uh, digital marketing in general. Then number three, like mindset. Mindset is very important because, um, yeah, I'll tell you later. Okay, so some some terminology here. Media buying is basically the art of buying placements. So there's a lot of um, real estate, right? Some placements on Instagram and Facebook and people buy that. So that's basically the, when people say in the industry, uh, they call it media buying, but um, in the Facebook groups, they call it Facebook ads. Yeah, okay. Traffic source is basically where the traffic is existing and hanging out. So Facebook, Instagram, Google, LinkedIn. Uh, these are just traffic sources, okay? And Facebook is just one of the traffic sources, okay? Testing means small amounts. So you, you do small budgets first and then you put your offer or your product right to the marketplace. And then the data that comes back, right, is basically um, you're putting hypothesis out, imagine, right? So you're doing science experiment, right? You are trying to test stuff. Then you put it out into the audience and then if the audience responds well, that's testing, okay? Optimizing right. is after a few days of running ads, right? Uh, for example, then your offer is out in the market. And then the, the act of like turning off unprofitable ad sets and like uh, scaling ad spend on the profitable ones, that's called optimizing. Okay. Right. Scaling is increasing budget. Yeah, I mean, it's quite simple. RTB is a very specialized term. You won't really hear it, especially in Facebook group. But basically in, in uh, digital marketing, it's real-time bidding. So RTB is the, the technology behind uh, what, for example, Snapchat ads, LinkedIn ads, Facebook ads, um, they run on because there's limited real estate space. So who is dependent? Who actually uh, deserves that placement? Who deserves to be in front of the audience? So that's RTB, okay? And uh, the auction bidding is, is the same thing. Uh. Yeah, so uh, the combination of like the bid, bid strategy, combination of uh, the budget, combination of how good the creative is and the engagement, that is right. auction bidding, mm. okay? Okay, so fun, okay. like this, this is important because uh, a bit boring, but fundamentally, why is Facebook, right? So Facebook is just a social network and they're monetized by advertisers like us buying attention from other people. Okay, so people are scrolling through their phones and stuff. You're just buying their attention. That's all. You're, you're basically buying air. Lah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so but why do people use Facebook and Instagram? They want to use it. You have to understand this because as an advertiser, they want to see their friends and they want to watch videos and articles, like cat videos, because they're bored, right? They're on the phone, uh, they're on the train, mm -hmm. they're on the bus. Okay, so they actually like the social admiration when they post something and they want to be famous. Like deep down, people don't want to say this, uh, but it's true, okay? That's why people use Instagram. <laughs> yeah, okay? And uh, that's why a lot of people flex on Instagram, right? Well, it's, it's retarded, uh, but it, it's like that, okay? Yeah. So like, you need to understand the human and uh, consumer psychology because it's interruption marketing, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, say, what, what is Facebook's aim here? Okay, it's, it's to make more money and make more money. That's all. <laughs> if you think they care about you, they don't care about you, okay? They are a publicly listed right. company. Their market cap is like insane. Um, the more advertising space they can sell to you, the more money they make and the higher the stock price. That's all they care about. Yeah, so if you think it's, it's uh, oh no, they, they want to provide the best user experience. No, no, they provide nah. the best user experience to, to get the most money, right? Big so money. <laughs> correct, exactly. So the, the, the interest of them is... They want to keep you in the platform for the longest mm. period of time. 
Okay, right, right. so once you understand this, uh, when you're advertising, it's easy as well. Okay, so um, keep in mind, it's actually a privilege to advertise on Facebook. And uh, you might be thinking I'm crazy to say that, right? Because it's like, hey, we're paying you money. Like, why don't you treat us better? It's because they don't need you. Okay, they got so many Ooh. other advertisers and uh, they can just ban you if you are abusing their account. Okay, so even for someone like me, right? I, uh, I, I post in a group, right? Like suddenly my ad account get banned. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, but like I got it back like, like very, very fast, like eight hours because they, they, they did oh. a mistake. But it's like, even if I, I spending so much uh, per month, like 60, 70 K USD per month, and then I get banned. Like, like who, who, who says that? You know what I mean? Like anyone can bet, get banned. Yeah, true, true. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah, so, so keep in mind that they will always align uh, the experience with their user, with the person using Facebook, mm -hmm. not the advertiser, okay? So you must, you must align to their interests and everything will be very easy, right? You must prioritize user experience, okay? Give them the best experience and you won't get banned. Okay, so I, uh, let me ask you. So this is pulled from the public data, okay? This is pulled from the, uh, if you're a publicly listed company, I don't know if you're a stock market, right? They, this is all data that you have to put out there for accounting purposes, okay? And so this information is not like, oh, I'm some special advertiser. No, it's, it's out there. It's just people don't go and search. Okay, so you, you see here, what is the opportunity here for you, right, Zui? Um, look at this. Asia Pacific, 1 billion people on Facebook right now. It, it, that's insane. If you think about it, because China's not even in this. China's banned in Facebook, right? So um, look at US, uh, 200 million. Okay. 200 million. You see this uh, revenue is increasing all the time, right? Means, means what? More people are coming onto Facebook, right? And you look at this. So revenue by Facebook user geography. You see uh, US, Canada, right? It's like barely 10%. It's not even 10%, it's like 5%. It's generating how much of the revenue? Hmm. Half, but like almost like half. Mm. Yeah, almost half, right? Which is insane mm. to think, right? But what does that yeah. mean for, for you, Zui, the, the Burmese Facebook Ads King? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, 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 that's, what that means, right, is that there are a billion people on Facebook right now and growing every single month that are barely spending anything. But the middle class is insane. The middle class mm. is going to increase over time, right? So right. If, if, if you understand that, hey, this platform is very important to me, I can monetize on this platform, you're going to be a god because Okay, that's my next slide. Okay, yeah. So those who understand how to use the platform to their advantage, especially in their geography, right? If you are local, right? Burmese, Viet, Viet, uh, Vietnam, Indonesia, you can become very wealthy in a very short period of time because it's a tool that you understand, hey, I can monetize this tool and I can scale to the moon. Like honestly, right? The best thing about it is not many people know how to do it and they don't do it well because it's very competitive. Understand? Mm -hmm. So in underdeveloped Asian countries, Singapore is not underdeveloped, it's first world. Uh. So yeah. it's, it's freaking irritating. It's even easier, right? It was, it's even easier for you. Okay. So you can see here, um, rest of Asia, 210 million and growing. Right? It, uh, yeah. So yeah, that, that's basically, uh, yeah. Okay. So do you know what CPM is? Uh, of course, but uh, I can't really remember. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can. So CPM is basically the cost to get in front of a thousand people. Right, it's a metric oh, okay. that yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. one thousand people, right? Correct. Yeah. So, so it's it's a metric that they track and uh, they give you in the ads manager when you run ads. Okay. Right. Uh, when I run ads in the USA, right? You see here, I'm paying seventeen dollars all the way to eighty. Uh -huh. It can go to hundred. It can go to a thousand. Mm -hmm. Honestly. And if I did, yeah. Sorry. I mean, freaking expensive there. Yes. Correct. Exactly. So if if I right, if I do anything that's less than fifteen dollars, right, I will be out of my mind happy. Mm. But, but, but yeah, so and okay, then these are the rest of the countries. So, for example, Canada, Australia, UK, these are called tier one countries. If anything less than $40, right, I'm quite happy. Right? Mm. Okay, in Asia, right, it's two dollars to ten dollars at, at most. Uh, at most uh. mm. <laughs> I, I say conservative, uh. I think four to five dollars CPM is, is, is very right. like even a noob can do it. Okay, so you think about it, yeah. uh, if the cost to advertise is two to 30, 40 times cheaper than in the US, right, what does that mean? I mean, I can reach the same amount of people with the cheaper, like. Exactly, like exactly, yeah. exactly, right? So if you want to sell your product, in Myanmar, there are 53 million people. If, uh, I don't know how to pronounce, ne ne Nepitao. Nepitao, right? Nepitao has Nepitao. 924,000 people, right? Exactly. You're not going to sell to everybody, but if you are paying a dollar CPM, you're spending uh, less than a thousand dollars to reach everybody. Right. That's right, crazy. Right. That's freaking crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so like it, once you understand this opportunity and thing, then um, okay lah. Is it, you know what I mean? It, it, it gets you excited because you understand the potential here. Yep, yeah, I, okay. I do understand. Okay. Can. Can. Okay, so basically, once you master paid traffic, you are, you're basically got okay because. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, right. I have to put a slide. I have to put a slide in. Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah. So you're basically got okay because you can sell anything to uh, in the world to anyone. You don't have to leave your home. You will never go hungry because if you can sell anything to anyone, you can make a sale, right? Right, and mm-hmm. uh, not only that, if you don't want to do it for your own, companies will want your services. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Because that there's in. No matter how good your AI is, how much data science there is, how much um, technology there is in the future, there will never be a day where companies don't want more money. <laughs> right? You think about it. Think about it. That, that's, that's the concept of, of advertising and marketing. Right? So you don't have to worry about it. It's just maybe the technology will change. Maybe the Facebook, mm-hmm. it's not Facebook anymore, right? But once you right, master right. this, right, it's, it's consistent throughout. Right, right. Okay? Yeah, so that's why, that's why I say you're God. Okay, okay next. Okay, so what's the best thing, right? Um, it's very easy to learn and operate other advertising platforms, right? Mm-hmm. And you must, must be thinking, okay, why should I start with Facebook? Okay, number one, uh, Facebook is the most mature, it's the most advanced. And you can walk into any company and interview for a marketing role. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so if, even if you don't want to work for, your, for yourself, right? Career-wise, it's transferable. That's true. Okay, can. So where's the opportunity? You can sell anything in the world to anyone. Uh, e-commerce, physical product, courses, selling services, uh, I was interviewing a media buyer. Um, he does 20K per month selling Vietnam, uh, selling to Vietnam, right? English courses. He's living in Australia. Really? Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, he has an army of coaches. So it's not even like the, 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 they teach English, right? It's not even go down to the center. It's face-to-face video like this. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, and then oh. he, 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 he come and apply for my, my agency. Then I'm like, Guys, hey, what, what you what, what you want to do with me? You're doing well. Right? <laughs> it's like I want to learn more. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. So you, you, do you see? Do you see? Like like successful people are there, even hungrier, which is good, lah. Because you need to keep learning. Okay. Yeah, of mm. course. You can uh, learn software, uh, sell consulting, mobile apps. You can sell exhibitions, conventions. So it's not only like digital stuff. You can sell uh, retail brick and mortar. Right. Mm-hmm. If you have never thought of it before, then try thinking again. Right. And after this lesson. Go back and uh, think about how, what, what else you can sell, right? You don't have to think about it. Construction, you can sell construction. Holy shit, right? right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the, what's the opportunity here? The costs are going up and up. This will become more expensive over time. Facebook yep. in APEC now, uh, Asia Pacific, like right now, is probably like Facebook uh, like nine years ago, where ah. everything is super cheap. Okay. It's like, it's an easy PC. But you give it three to five years, uh, things will change and it will become super expensive. And when that, that, when that happens, uh, you'll be like, shit, why, why, shouldn't, why didn't I do something more? Mm-hmm. Okay? Got it. Got it, bro. Okay. Then you must be thinking, uh, Jonathan, you, you talk so much shit, right? <laughs> why do I <laughs> advertise in the US market? Right? Then you must say, hey, if it's so easy in, the, in, the, in Vietnam or whatever, why you go, why you go US, right? Okay, so number one, um, the people who can pay me are there, are there, number one. Number two, it's the hardest market. So you're forced to be good, right? If you're forced to be good, your skills will be better. So when you transition to Vietnam market, it's like easy, easy cake, right? It's like, <laughs> these, it's like no, no competition, zero competition, right? So you want to have and build strong foundations so you can sharpen your skills, right? And then the next thing is also the best, the best marketers, the, the top level guys operate there. So like if you can compete on their level, it means you're just as good as them, right? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can compete anywhere in the world. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Also, you're learning from them. Uh, the most mature ecosystem, uh, networking in a sense. Uh, and I also only know Chinese and English. They, mm. uh, there's nothing in China. So I can't, pay, I can't advertise that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can. Okay. Okay. So this part is the part where I give you a caution. Uh. At the end of the day, right? Facebook is not your business. Facebook is a platform. This is just a tool to generate your business. Okay. So for even for me, like me, right? Um, I mean, I, I feel great like getting results for clients and stuff. But I don't, I don't want to re- rely entirely on Facebook. I don't feel good about that. You know what I mean? So right now, my entire business is dependent on this uh, Facebook, right? So for example, if my ad account get banned like, like, like last time, mm-hmm. I, I'm stressed, right? I don't, want to, I don't want that. I want to diversify, right? But you take this one skill and then you can diversify in the future. So that, that's right. long-term thinking. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So why is Facebook so in demand? Uh, YouTube and Facebook is the only advertising platforms that are scalable. And what this means, right, is that um, these are the only platforms, right, you can reach audiences that are not looking for your service. So Google search ads, people search something, right? And then uh, they can find your product or service, right? So mm-hmm. there, there's no way that the person search, does not uh, search something and is not finding something that they want, right? Facebook and YouTube, it's like they can interrupt you and they can create demand. I see. Hello, Zui. Yeah, are you there? Yeah, hey, uh, can you hear me? Can, can, can hear you. Can. Do, do you hear what I said, the last thing? No, no, I, I heard everything. I, 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 uh, oh. I was saying yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, can you hear Okay, so, because when I, when I think, I, I tend to become a little bit quiet. <laughs> That's why. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, if I speak too fast, you tell me. Because uh, I generally no, no. speak like that. Bro, I live in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. perfectly understand everything you're saying, bro. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, Ken. So, uh, WeChat, not open to foreigners, right? Mm. So, that one ca- cannot scale, right? So, when, 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 I, when I talk about scale and stuff, right, I really mean by, hey, you can cover the entire country, the counting. Kind of yeah. Mm-hmm. You can force uh you can force demand. Yeah. Okay. Chapter two. Okay, we talk about pixels, ROI, digital marketing. Uh do you know mm-hmm. what pixel is? Yes. I mean I have never used it before, but I know the, the basic concept. Okay, can it's just a JavaScript code on a website, mm-hmm. on a landing page. It doesn't matter. It just exists code, right? So when people go to your, your traffic runs to your site. Uh, Facebook will pick up their data and uh, transfer it back to them. Right, right. That's all. Okay. They track everything from um, uh, your IP address, uh, like how old are you, blah, blah, blah. All the demographic stuff. Uh. Right, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can. So you need your pixel to exist somewhere. Otherwise, you cannot collect, collect data. Right. So website and landing page. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yep. And your pixel collects data over time. So... Mm-hmm. any time where for example if you have a client right and then they they don't have a pixel right it's crazy it's freaking crazy because you are paying for for traffic right it is an asset right mm-hmm. you're collecting data over time data is more more important than anything in, in today's world because we, without right. data right without email list or whatever you, you can't have access to your customers right so everyone who has visited your site before will be in that pixel and the pixel will capture their data so you can retarget mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, okay. 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 So yeah. So this is basically it. Uh, okay. So keep in mind that a Facebook pixel right can live on the website, and then the traffic can come from anywhere. Can come from Google. Can come from your ads. Can come from later anywhere. So it doesn't have to come from Facebook for pixel for Facebook to pick it up. I see. I see. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. So what does a Facebook pixel look like? It looks like this. Later I'll show you. But basically, um, this is uh the status uh, Basically, this is uh the pixels working. Um, this is just the traffic mm-hmm. data that the pixel is um, picking up. This plus here, it just means that uh, there's more traffic coming to this objective. And these, all, these things are called standard events. Okay, standard, standard events, event. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you more in lesson to uh, more advanced stuff, but mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, this one is just the amount of data that's coming in. And uh, this one, you can see the status active. Okay, okay. so Facebook, uh, imagine as one big uh, machine learning AI mm-hmm. machine, okay? So they are just collecting data, collecting data, and over time, your returns and ROI will get better over time. Because the more data mm-hmm. you have, the more people you can advertise to. Okay, so this is just, yeah, you've seen this slide before, right? Yeah, yeah, you just increase yeah, over, the, over time. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, so your efforts will compound and stick to it. What that means is that uh, people always say, hey, I'm spending $1,000 a day right now. Um, why aren't I seeing results now? Well, no shit, right? People don't, people don't like trust and respect you. I'll talk about that in future as well. But basically, uh, your ROI will increase. Okay, so you've seen the slide as well. Um, yep. Does do you have, do you understand what I mean by this? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know this, I know this part. Okay, can so um, keep in mind, right? The hardest thing in, in marketing or advertising, right, is getting people who don't know you at all to buy your product. It's not getting people who know you already to like to buy your product, right? If you sell insurance or whatever shit, right, it's not very hard convincing your parents or, or family members to buy from you. But it's freaking hard to get people who don't know you at all to buy. Okay, so that's why whenever you start advertising for any brand, right, be it bakery or whatever, always try to solve this first because any 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 beginner can do this. Okay. Okay, so uh, these are terms in the industry. Don't know whether you hear it before. Top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, so top of funnel generally would be, for example here, page view, view content. It's top of the uh, funnel standard event objectives for, for Pixel. Does that make sense? See. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, then uh, middle funnel would be like um, people who have watched your video, people who have uh, clicked on your page but have not bought. Uh, yeah, uh, then bottom of funnel would be like initiate checkout and add to cart. Right, right. Okay. Yes, uh, awareness if it, I get this on easy shit. Uh. Okay, yep. Okay, so um, generally my strategy would be, um, for example, client comes to, hey, we want to hit this ROI. What I always tell them is on the cold traffic, right? We will try to break even. Break even or times two ROAS. So, okay, I'll talk about this in lesson two as well, but do you know what a break even ROAS is? Yeah, uh, return on something sales. I forget the A. <laughs> at, at spend. Return on at spend. Yeah. 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 So uh, times two ROAS is I spend a dollar, I get two dollars back. Two dollars back, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So why that is so important and why it's so important that you segment your campaigns into cold, warm. Uh, warm and hot can be the same thing, uh, but cold and warm is because these are two very distinctly different audiences. The messaging needs to be different, the copy needs to be different, and uh, the conversions, uh, the ROAS, you cannot measure it the same. Because people already here like, trust, and respect you. So mm. The, the ROAS will be good, right? But people who don't know, your, at, don't know you at all can break even or times two ROAS. Uh, you have done a perfect job already. Mm. Okay? And, and the reason why is that so, right? Imagine software companies, right? Uh, do you know how much money they spend on advertising? I don't know. Okay, they spend hundreds of millions and they burn cash. When they burn cash, right, it means they go into a negative deficit, right? They spend and burn money up to the point to acquire a customer. So for example, a customer pays me $67 a month for my software, for example. They're willing to spend up to $180 to acquire a customer. So they, they take three months to pay back. That's why they call it three-month payback period. Does that make oh. sense? I, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah, like... yeah. yeah. So if companies like that are spending money in the same advertising channels as you, Facebook, and they're willing to spend three times as much as you, up three times break even. It's not even three times and then plus a bit of profit. Mm -hmm. means that if you can get this break even times two ROAS on cold okay. traffic people, yeah, means you're a beast. means you're good. Okay, I got it. I got, got it. it. Okay, okay. Okay, so cash flow engineering, you've seen this as well. Do you know what this means? Uh, wait, let me see. Oh, I think that again. This one I'm not sure about. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me explain to you why uh, digital marketing is like an infinite uh, ROI thing. Okay, so for example, any traffic source, Facebook, Google here, they drive to your product page here and then it comes to your store. Okay, store, mm -hmm. people purchase here and then they give you money. And then mm -hmm. they give you money, what else do they give you? The, 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 the data. Yes, correct. What, what data? The email. Yes, email, the, correct. So why is email marketing uh, very important? Uh, because it's, it's hard to, it's separated from Facebook that like you can, like, you don't have to depend on that one platform. It, it, uh, something like that. It's more like um, is it, is it yeah. like something personal to them that you can send send them straight? Uh, yes, something like that. Okay, no, no, not that. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, number one, rely on another platform. Rely on uh, Facebook, yeah. Correct. Number two, you don't have to pay money to reach the audience again. Oh yeah, right. Pay money. Mm. Yeah. So why 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 should I? So imagine you do have email, right? People, a lot of people do have email. By the way, all the drop shippers do have email. That's why they suck. <laughs> uh, but basically, if you have email, your business cuts here, right? This arrow cuts here. This means mm -hmm. that every single time you need more customers, right? You need to go here again. Yeah, true, true. That, yeah. that is happening right now, yeah. Yeah, correct. That's why people are not profitable and that's why people die. Uh, people die because of cash flow, not enough cash. That's all. Hmm. Understand? Okay. So, so yeah. Im imagine this. This is called cash flow engineering because this is an infinite cycle. I buy traffic, I get people, I, I give, uh, they give me money and then I just keep advertising them for free. I do have to pay and it's like pure profit. Understand? So here, if I, on, on the left hand side, I do times two row S to break even. And then, shit. And then here is pure profit. What does this mean in the long term for a business? Like you don't have, like you don't, you don't need to spend so much advertising cost. Yes, correct, correct. So, so for example, you are running a business e-commerce. So, what what should you prioritize on? 
uh, collecting emails. Yes, correct. Exactly. Yep. Okay. All, all of this but, here, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Can you can you create like lookalike audience from the, your email list? Yes. Yes. Can I will oh, touch yeah. uh, touch upon that after? Yeah. Okay. 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 Can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So chapter three, mindset. Mindset for media buying is very important because you are like a stock market. Okay. Have you traded on stock market before? Nah. <laughs> okay. Uh, people are very stressed on stock market, right? That's why you see Wall Street, whatever. The reason why is mm. that, right? Is because they keep looking at the numbers. They are very attached mm. and emotional to the numbers. For media mm. buying, right, it's the same thing. You cannot get attached to the numbers. If you are, right, mm. you're going to make wrong decisions. That's why they call it data-driven decisions. You need to look at a number and, and react. You're not supposed to, um, hey, I, I put so much effort into this campaign. Nobody cares. The market doesn't care, right? Yeah. So mm. the market decides how good you are. Let the, uh, let, let the data decide. What you're doing is just a science experiment. You're just hypothesizing and then you put it out there. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Don't have to say, mm -hmm. hey, I, should I put so much effort into this video? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry, but nobody cares. Um, let the data decide, okay? So this is very important to, to, to understand because it's like, if you're spending your own money, uh, you tend to be very emotional about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Campaign objectives, I'll go into it later. So I said before, Facebook is just an AI engine. Don't overcomplicate shit, <laughs> okay? That's what people do. Uh, do, you know, do you know how AI works? Um, not sure. Okay, AI is just, you build a model, right? And then you tell it, okay, I want to optimize for this. It will optimize for that. It won't like, hey, uh, maybe we should do some traffic. Maybe we should do some uh, brand awareness. No, it doesn't work like that. You tell a machine what it does and it just does it. Okay, mm. so if you want conversion, just go to conversion. Don't don't hear in the Facebook group. Oh, I want and uh, let's just do like PPE. Have you heard this before? PPE engagement testing campaign. Then afterwards you transition to conversion. Oh uh, no! <laughs> oh, you never heard it before? No, because the thing is, we have never touched con conversion because because we don't use any website. That's the thing. Like we don't use yes. Yes. the file. Yeah. Um, okay. Can yeah, but I mean next time. Basically, if you want anything, just, just choose the objective. Okay. Yeah, and, the objective. And, and don't boost the post. Oh, don't boost the post. Oh, don't okay. Boost. Yeah. <laughs> There's a better uh, platform to use while you boost the post. Okay. 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 Once you figure out media buying, you're running a real business. Don't obsess over the media buying. What this means is that stop thinking about ads. Think about everything except the ads. Okay, think about, <laughs> think about the product, think about the customer service, think about everything else. Mm -hmm. Because Facebook is starting to, to consider those factors even more. Okay? Ooh, okay, okay. Understand? Understand? So that's why um, it's sexy to talk about media buying. But actually, it's mm -hmm. not very, very important. It's important, but it's not very important. Okay? Yeah. And the only difference between you and me is that I've thrown more things on the wall and I stuck to it. And I see what sticks. That's all. I'm not special. Okay? <laughs> Just to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, the mindset of the media buy. Uh, very important. These are all in the Facebook slides as well, but I need to tell you, you don't know what you don't know. You are just doing science experiment, okay? Never assume. Yeah, same thing as previous slide. The difference between successful and not successful is the amount of action you take. So, um, I just test more than you. That's all. Okay? What type of data does it collect? You've seen this slide before also. Uh, lower down the funnel, the more precious the data. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this, this purchase data is much more like 2,000% 2, 2, more, more, um, more valuable than a search or page view. Okay? I see. Yep. Okay. Uh, custom audiences. Custom audiences are creating pools of people who are already interacting with your business. So you kind of own mm -hmm. the data already. So people who right. have visited your site, email list, you own that. People who watch 100% of a video that you put out. Yep. Okay. Look like audiences. It's basically uh, custom audiences, but you create a lookalike that is statistically significant to your custom audience. So why mm -hmm. it says statistic, right? It's because you need a certain amount of people in your custom audience for your lookalike to be effective. And right. uh, the, the reason why is that so, right? Is because um, if you have, for example, only 20 people here, then your entire lookalike will look like 20 people. It's mm -hmm. not, yeah, okay? Yeah. Um, Facebook has a lot of data on everybody. So they'll just create new audiences from the sample, okay? Look like it's just like this, okay? <laughs> so, you. so, so I have me, right? For example, I me, I, I like basketball and I like marketing. So this is one right. Jonathan, okay? Look like it's just creating ten other Jonathans. Right, right, right. 
okay? And then the, that's like 1% look like. So a 3% look like maybe Jonathan, but he likes not basketball, but, but football. Yeah. See. Yeah, simple. Huh? Yeah. Okay. How we normally use LOL is uh, custom objectives. You're basing your LOA on uh, depending on the business. So you have to figure out what do you want the business to do first. Okay. But then uh, generally speaking, you start from scratch on cold campaigns with interest targeting. So very broad interest. So for example, um, tuition, for example, tuition, right? Uh, target education, target book, book publishers, target math, uh, science, right? Then we use that data from there and then we get that data and then take that purchase data. Like, okay, for e-commerce, uh, you take the most bottom of the funnel data. So for example, if you're doing lead generation, right? You take that lead data and then you create a look like, okay, generally you, you want a lot, more con uh, a lot more conversions or leads, but 50 is the minimum. Uh. You take that okay. most qualified data set and you create your look like, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so homework, um, you go and do this uh, and then we'll, we'll answer your questions now. But basically, you come back to this slide. Okay, yep. Uh, that's it for lesson one. Uh, I'll answer your Google Doc question first. Okay, come. Okay, so what is the best way for advertising e-commerce? Okay, what do you think is the best way? <laughs> uh, okay, my, I think I have to re re uh, perf uh, rephrase my question, I guess. It's like, Let's say if I want to import stuff from China and start like selling in here, this what, how should I do it? Okay, what do you want to sell? Uh, let's see, like shoes. Let's say, let's say shoes. Okay, uh, what are shoes? <laughs> oh wait, Zui, give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yes, Zui, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, let's say water bottle, water bottle. Like oh, okay. So you want to sell water bottles? Okay, who is your target audience? Like moms, moms, uh, around you know, 30 to 40. Okay, Ken, you're talking about Myanmar, right? Myanmar, Myanmar, yeah, just Myanmar. Okay, where do they hang out? Where do they hang out? Cafe. Online, online, online. <laughs> online. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> Where do they hang out online? Not, not. Uh, online. Oh, online, online. Ah, bro, Facebook, bro. Okay. Only place. okay, yeah. So you see, I mean, it's not, it's not depending on hey, what's the best way to do stuff. It's go find out where your customer is hanging out and advertise there. Mm -hmm. Simple. So, so for mm -hmm. example, like, um, hey, I want to sell uh, consulting services. Where do I go? LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. my, my audience is there. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about, hey, what is the best way to do stuff? No, it's not. It's figure out where your customer is. That's all. That's it. Understand, but you know when I was looking at the videos, you did, you were saying like okay, like after this you go in like bully method and all this that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, is, uh, do I need to use that if I want to sell something here? Just okay. in my country. Okay. Uh, that one is like uh very advanced strategy in lesson oh. two. Okay. Oh, listen to you. Um, I see. Okay. The, the, the simple way of saying it, okay, best way to answer, answer the question, uh, best way to advertise for e-commerce is Facebook ads and a website. It's Shopify and a website. It's WooCommerce. You know WooCommerce? No. Sure. Okay. WooCommerce is, you know WordPress? <laughs> okay. WordPress is just, uh, it's just uh, like a CMS. You know what CMS is? <laughs> You're like dropping a lot of things. Okay, 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 okay. Can CMS wait, wait, wait. is WooCommerce CMS. I'm going to write down everything and research it. Yes. Okay, so uh, WordPress is just like a content management system uh, to, to host websites. Okay, you can install okay. WooCommerce. WooCommerce is like an e commerce plugin. The two biggest yeah. players in e commerce is like probably three uh, Magento. Magento is um, Adobe. The brand, um, mm -hmm. Shopify. Shopify is owned by Shopify, and then WooCommerce okay. is is uh, WooCommerce. So those are three okay. major ways to sell things online. Okay, 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 got it, got it. Okay, uh, so uh, the, yeah, that's the, and then uh, traffic, right? So there's there's uh, the the app, the website itself, and then traffic. You need to figure out traffic. Traffic is um, Pinterest, Facebook, 
Instagram, LinkedIn. Yeah. Mm. So you only need two things. You need a website and you need traffic. That's all. <laughs> you see, I mean, it's quite easy. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. No, the thing is, you say you, I need a website and, and the traffic back. Yes. Yes. Okay, then all my uh, traffic is, because we, because we only use two platforms, mainly okay. Facebook yeah. and Instagram. Instagram is less than a million users right now, if I'm not mistaken. So okay. Mainly, everyone is on Facebook. Besides that, nah, no, 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 nobody's on Pinterest, nobody's on, like, only a few people on LinkedIn. Okay. So, is, and we don't use a website. That's a problem. Because of we don't use website, I, I, I don't even have a web, website for myself. Yeah. So, Who says you need a website? For yourself? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Okay, okay. But, okay, but uh, for this case, if nobody in your, 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 your country uses a website, then make them use a the website. Then you'll be the first player in the space to use the website. <laughs> right? Mm, yeah, uh, I mean, as in nobody's, as in not the marketers, the people. Okay, let's say that, uh, okay, I, my, I, have, I have a friend who, who is selling stuff on Shopify. Yeah. Okay, so Shopify and Facebook page, yeah? Yeah. So let's say he links the, the ads to Shopify. Nobody yeah. goes and buy it. Who says so? Just, who says so? You got the data to, to back it up? No, no, we, 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 we test it out. We test it out. The only thing they buy is that they see the ads, they will give a call or message, say, oh, can you come and deliver us? So we have a person just to reply messages, say, oh, take the orders here. Okay, okay. So I, I, I actually have a, uh, I answer prepared for you, for your cash on delivery okay. thing. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk, talk about that later. Okay. okay, how do you find winning ads? You don't yeah, find winning right. ads. You create them. <laughs> so, 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 so every guru that tells you, oh, you can buy this software to copy on your competitors' winning ads, you can just unsubscribe right. because they're all bullshit. Okay? If you want to compete in the marketplace and you want your CPMs to go down, you need to create your own ads because uh, differentiation is going to... Uh, yeah, differentiation is like a moat. It's like a, your differentiating factor, right? So if you are the same winning ads, same ads as them, what makes you think you're going to convert the customer? They are going to get the customer. What? Uh, you understand? Okay. Yeah. Being, think, uh, yeah. 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 Being different and creative, right? Actually gets you, um, makes you good. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. You know, the thing is, it, it, I think I have to the, uh, paraphrase the, the, uh, the question. What I, what I mean is that, okay, let's say, like what I've told you before, I have several ads I ran. Yes. But I don't know which one is, which ad is performing well. Because they oh. just call. Okay, okay, okay. They just call and say, oh, hey, bro, uh, I want to attend this course. Shit, man, I don't know which one is coming. So, okay, what so, I do is. Yeah. You don't know how to optimize, right? You don't know how to um, see which one's working or not. Is it? Because I have, like, let's say I have four ads, then they have, like, all the, like, comments all the likes, but I don't know which ad performing best. Okay, okay, of- okay, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Mm-hmm. Okay, L- later okay. open up, later open up, okay. How okay, can okay, I track, cool. how can I track which ads is giving me sales? I think that- Okay, so yeah. your, your situation is cash on delivery, correct? Right, right. Okay, okay, so I've, I've taken the liberty to ask some of my friends as well, and uh, some advice as well. So these are mm-hmm. qualified answers, okay? This one is, I took it from Quora, by the way. So if you want to see, here's from Quora. But basically, okay, so, so this guy, he's running a, a, a cash on delivery in Europe. Uh, so what he does is, um, for example, Facebook ads, right? Go to Shopify. Uh, Shopify goes to his order form. And then his order form, right? They'll give him name, email address.